Hey, thank you so much for checking out this video. Today I want to show you how I made this super simple spline jig for picture frames, boxes, or these cool little floating shelves that I'm making for my friend to add just that little bit of detail that really just makes it pop. For this jig, I'm just using some 3 quarter inch birch plywood that I had left over from a few projects I was working on. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to my table saw and set my blade to 45 degrees. Then I'm going to make a series of cuts using my miter gauge and my miter saw so that way I don't have to adjust my blade back to 90 and then back to 45. The cool thing about this jig is you can kind of just wing the measurements but for these two pieces I made them about 9 inches. And then I took a little scrap square and I cut all four corners off. These pieces are going to act as the supports while I glue and pin nail everything to the base. And when I'm pin nailing everything, I'm making sure and keeping all of my pin nails on the outside because I do have a saw stop and I do not want to trigger that blade from it hitting a pin nail. And now that I have one side completely glued and pin nailed, I'm going to use a little carpenter square here to hold my second side in place while I glue and pin nail it down. And now that I have the main frame complete, I'm going to add one more piece on the side so that way my workpiece has something to rest against when I'm making these cuts. Then I'm going to countersink some holes at the top of the jig because I don't ever want to chance the blade coming in contact with the screws. So I countersink some screws at the top and then I add one inch wood screws to hold everything in place. And now that the jig is all done, we're going to set it up and make some cuts. So I want the blade to go about halfway through my workpiece. Then I will line up where I want the blade to cut the piece. And I did make a test cut off camera and saw that it was all perfect, so I started cutting. One thing too you'll notice is I did leave the back end a little long. I've seen some jigs that are the exact same width as where the supports are, but I wanted to do everything I could to keep my hand away from that blade. Now that we have the splines cut, we need to make some splines to go in there. So I'm using my feather board as like a thin rip guide. So you see here I have it set up, I make a cut, then I just move my fence and the workpiece into the feather board again. And this gives me perfect repeatable cuts every single time. And these little shelves that I'm making are red oak and the splines are made from white oak. I thought that would just be a fun little contrast. And once you have them all glued in place, there's a couple different ways that you can remove the excess. Bandsaw, handsaw, I'm using a multi-tool that ended up dying in the middle of this. So I went over to my router, put on my flush trim bit, and took off the excess that way. I did get a little blowout on like two of them, and I don't know if it was from the multi-tool or from the router. But I did like the result from the flush trim bit, so I will definitely be using this again. And I'll report back if I do get blowout from that. Thank you so much for checking out this video. Make sure and leave me a comment and let me know what you thought of this jig. And if you made your own, I would love to hear how it turned out. And we'll see you on the next video.